In this module, you will learn the special problems that kicks from shallow formations present, why maintaining constant bottom hole pressure is important when handling a kick, and the steps in two methods used to restore normal circulation. In the last module, you learned that it is quite possible for kicks to create high surface pressures. These pressures could exceed equipment limits. If they did, shutting in the well could cause equipment damage or complete loss of control. If the well cannot be shut in, some control can be maintained by continuing to circulate and by diverting return flow to pits and flares a safe distance downwind from the rig and equipment. Gas kicks from shallow depths often cannot be shut in safely. Diverting flow may be the only control available with shallow gas kicks. As you saw in Module 5, abnormally pressured gas formations can be encountered at very shallow depths. Because these formations are so shallow, gas will travel a significant distance up the annulus before even an observant crew can recognize that the well has started to flow. If the crew shuts in the well with gas in the annulus, downhole pressures will rise. And as you saw earlier in this module, when gas migrates, pressures will continue to increase until the gas reaches the surface. Shallow formations are relatively easy to fracture and may only be partially protected by a conductor pipe. The formation pressure in shallow gas zones may already be close to the pressure needed to fracture shallower formations. If you attempt to shut in a shallow gas kick, gas dynamics can easily create pressures high enough to fracture the formation. This can permit flow from the shallow gas formation into the fractured formation. You just saw that this condition is called an underground blowout. 